Hello Vanguard players, it's Tempest CFV here. Uh, I just spent an hour recording a bunch of those crappy Yu-Gi-Oh videos that seem to be so popular on the internet. Um, but I'm here now to bring you a really, really, really good deck. It's one of my favorites, I'm so glad. Like, you don't even know. This is my Ildona deck uh, for the new format coming up. So like, when Mordred Phantom got revealed, I was like, okay, it's a Shadow Paladin Breaker, I'll let you call a card from the deck. And then, when I started looking into it a little bit more, I'm like, okay, so I guess like, it's really good, because I get you that free plus one, right? And then, now that I actually have hard copies of it, and I started playing around with it, I come to realize I really, really like Mordred Phantom a lot. He is am not amazing, but he's really freaking good. Um, so, this is the new Ildona deck that I have. Um, basically, it's just the regular deck that I had before, but with a bunch of stuff from the trial decks that are really good for it. Um, in addition to this deck, I'll be posting a Revengers deck profile once I get my uh, Dorrance from the new booster set, because I need those for unflipping damage. Um, but, uh, yeah. So here's the Ildana deck. I really like this deck. Um, there's a box tournament happening at my local sometime this week. I'm either playing this deck or the, uh, <clears throat> the Dark Dictator deck I'm going to post after I finish this deck profile. Um, they're very similar, but they uh, work a little bit differently. So I'll get into it, and maybe you'll kind of see what's going on as I start. So your starter is the goat. Uh, you play eight grade threes in this deck, so it's really easy to get them to go off. Helps you consistently grab whatever you need. Um, if you open the break ride, he can help you get the the regular Ildana you need. If you don't have uh, the break ride, you have Ildana though. You can use them to search the uh, Morgan Phantom the break ride. So yeah. Um, for crits or triggers, you're playing uh, four, eight crits, um, and then you're playing four draws, and then you're playing four heals. The reason I'm not playing 12 crit in this deck is even though the break ride applies a lot of pressure, um, Ildana is still in its own stuff a more defensive deck because it's focused on draw power, um, and so having the uh, draw triggers kind of helps you mitigate the loss because Ildana has to retire two rear guards in order for his limit break to go off so it kind of helps mitigate that cost of playing the draw triggers and you can play 12 crit if you feel comfortable with it um, I personally prefer the 12 the 8 crit 4 draw uh, to the 12 crit. Uh, for grade ones uh, I'm playing 6 b sticks you got 3 8k vanillas and 3 guru bows. Um, guru bows is a 7k attacker if you have a shadow paladin vanguard when he attacks a vanguard uh, but he's only a 7k boost uh, and then Charon, of course, is an AK boost or attacker, so either way, he's really good. Um, you can play four of one and two of the other. Um, right now, because of my cards that I have, I'm playing three of each, just for balance issues. Um, I think I might play four of each if I actually had four of each. Like, I have four of her, but not four of him, unfortunately. So um, Another card you can play is you can play uh, the Grade 1 Masquerade Revenger that swings for 10k if you have Mordred on your Vanguard Circle. It's fine, it's okay. Um, it works the 10k attacker, but the problem is once you ride Eldana, that guy loses attacking power, which is why I prefer the Guru about because he's more consistent. Uh, two, Arian Rod, just a random 7k booster, and you can use your effect to tap, help you uh, cycle through your cards. If you open double Eldana and you want the break ride, you can use your skill to tap, discard one of the Eldanas, and draw. Helps you uh, cycle through your cards more easily. Um, only a two of, because. Um, I like the attacking power that the other grade ones give you better, um, but she's not terrible. Um, and then we got two burn bow. Ah, uh, when he boosts the vanguard, if you have fewer rear guards than your opponent, you boost for ten. Um, so since Ildana swings for thirteen on his own, after you limit break, he gains three k more, and then you use this to boost, and he's swinging for twenty six on his own, which is really good. Thirty six to the break ride. So that per hits magic numbers against all types of decks, including cross rides. Um, and this card is really good. Like this is exactly what Shadow Paladins needed. We need a 10k Vanguard booster. So I'm really glad I got this card. And last, you have four perfect cards because um, those are mandatory now because of break rides. Um, for grade twos, I'm playing three Rugos and two Dordona. So five 10k Vanillas. Um, I decided to go with 5 10Ks uh, because this deck is very counterblast heavy. Um, you got your counterblast 1 for starter, counterblast 1 for break ride, which are both mandatory, and then counterblast 2 for anal Dona. That's 4 damage you're going to have that's not going to be able to be unflipped. So you're not going to be able to make use of Maka. So I cut Maka completely from this build. Um, 
and uh, there's not like a lot you can really do in terms of like searching or toolboxing except for the break ride. So just having these consistent 10k attackers helps you really apply pressure. Um, yeah. And there are other cards that counter blast, but they're like random tech, so I'll explain in a minute. Uh, three Cursed Lancers. I only own three. Um, I feel like three is enough, honestly, because you only really need one in a game. Um, if you get it, and you draw it, and you play it, like turn two, um, and you unflip that damage that you use with your starter, then uh, you can just give you the card back you need, and that let you do a second Eldona play, potentially. You really only need to unflip once with him, even if it means playing him off the break ride to get the pressure in. <clears throat> Getting that one on flipping is necessary for the game, so you can do Eldana twice. Um, if you don't get the on flipping, you only get to use Eldana once, so you have to be careful. Um, but like I said, since you can toolbox him with the break ride, potentially, I feel like you don't need to play any more than three. And then last, we have two Nemen. Uh, she's just staple Shadow Paladin card. When she's called to rear guard, you counter blast one, pitch one card, and draw two. Um, since she's only 3k, she's not much of an attacker, but you can still intercept with her, and. Uh, Retire her off Eldona to uh, make plays. And then I'm also playing this card, Blaster Dark Spirit. This was the main reason I really wanted to pick up Mordred because this card is so freaking good. Oh my gosh. So, you have Blaster Dark, you have Blaster Dark Revenger. Blaster Dark Revenger, if you use it like with Mordred Phantom, you go Mordred, Counter Blast 1, grab Blaster Dark Revenger, Counter Blast 2, you have a Dorn in that same column, you unflip one, and you get to retire one of your opponent's front rows, right? And Blaster Dark Revenger is a 9k. Blaster Dark Spirit, this guy is the same thing. You use Mordred to call him out. When he's placed on rearguard circle from your deck, you counter kind of blast one, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guys that's grade two or less, and retire it. Um, so basically, he does the same thing that you would normally do with a Blaster Dark Revenger um, with a Dorant behind him, and he's 10k base. Which means that drawing him normally is still good because he's a 10k beat stick. So. I really like this card. Um, it can help you in clutch situations, retiring your opponent's rear guards, you know, at, at a final turn play. Um, also, since he's a 10k on his own, having him being a 15 for the break ride is really good because you can easily swing for two stages on his own over rear guards or against 10k vanguards, which is really good. Um, the reason I'm not playing more than one is because of Ildana. Um, if you break ride Mordred on break ride and then get him, that's really good. But if you go to do it again, let's say you break ride a Mordred on, or you, like you break ride twice, or you break ride Eldana or Mordred on the break ride again, you have to counter blast one again, and then get if you get him out, then you have to counter blast one again for his skill. So like, it's four damage and you killed two rear guards, sure, but like now you can't use Eldana, so what's the point, right? So that's why I'm only playing one. Um, it's toolboxy, but I like the, the tech ability of it, and it really works well, and it synergizes well with the deck. So. I like Blaster Dark Spirit as a one of, no more than that in Eldana because you want to use Eldana. Great threes, I've already gone over this, there's eight of them. Four Mordred, four Eldana. That's it. It's simple. You just try and ride him turn one, or not turn one, turn three if you can, and then sit on four damage and then break ride another copy of him or break ride the Eldana. And after you break ride the Eldana, you just call him the rear guard because he's 11k rear guard, which is really good. So. It's pretty self-explanatory. What you do is just do standard break ride shenanigans. You go grade one, grade two, use your grade three zero starter, search for grade three, ride the break ride, sit on that, and then when you roll around for the uh, final turn play, depending on what you uh, or not even the final turn play, but for the first break ride, excuse me, depending on what you even like ride. If you're missing a grade one, you want to call a grade one because it's going to be really important. If you're missing the 10k Vanguard booster, call Burnbow, call that 10k Vanguard booster because he's going to be really important, especially hitting against the cross rides. Um, so basically what you want to do is the first time you limit break, you want to get like either this guy or her or her. Er, not, not her. This is, a, this is not a her. This is a him. <laughs> um, if you're missing a grade one, get one of those. These are your main searches that you're going to use for the first time you break ride because... This guy lets you kill a guy for free if you have him in deck already. This this one lets you uh basically just give you the draw power. Now normally you don't want to actually search for her because she's a two of you're probably gonna draw into her anyway. But like if you feel like you're missing out on draw power, like your opponent like did a stupid like uh what was a play that someone could make? Like let's say they're playing Dimension Police and they went like 
turn two plot in a maze, Cosmo beat the plot in a maze, and he has two crit now. And then they played Speedster and gave two more K to it. And so now it's swinging for like 15 on his own with a 10K, with like a 8K boost for 23 on your like 9K Vanguard. Okay, so now you've wasted like two or three cards to stop this double crit attack from going through too early. I don't know why you'd want to do that personally. I would just probably let it through, but like, you know, maybe he's playing Dimension Police, so it could be doing something stupid. Uh, that's when you want to play this card, because this lets you just discard one and get you two free cards. Um, if you need, feel like you need the extra draw power, but you don't have Vildana yet, that's when you can get Nemin. And then Chris Lancer's obvious. He gets 5,000 from the break ride, so it applies a lot more pressure. And you're using the swing in early and unflip your damage, so you can be prepared for that next turn your break ride. So that's basically all there is to the deck. Um, Honestly, uh, I've played this version. I played the Dictator version. Um, and I like the Dictator version better because it's a lot less counterblast heavy. Um, Dictator doesn't counterblast at all, and uh, the Dictator version is a lot more toolboxy. It gives me a lot more options to work with, with the break ride. So, um, I'll go ahead and post the update for the Dictator uh, deck profile. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please comment below. And if you want to see more Vanguard or Yu-Gi-Oh videos, please be sure to subscribe and check out my channel for more. Thanks so much for watching.